Can't crush my spirit. What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of a Tech once again, and today we have yet another how to video. It's been a while since we've done a how to video, so I'm excited to get this one going. It's going to be how to create an NFT on OpenSea.io. Now, NFTs are something that is brand new to the Ethereum network and something that has caused quite a bit of confusion. I'm going to be going into more detail on NFTs as far as my perspective and what I'm looking at for the future of NFTs and what problems need to be resolved because I do believe there are quite a few problems with the way NFTs function, even the way that we are going to do it in this particular guide. So keep that in mind. That being said, if you are interested in, of course, creating your first NFT, OpenSea.io seems to be the easiest way to do it, as well as the easiest way to connect to basically a wallet with keys that you control. So I think that's super important. We're going to get into it right after a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself we actually made an nft that will be posted as part of this video and link the down below the channel it is a quick repeating gif of me saying today's sponsor is myself so pretty fun stuff we also have the see you next tuesday nft that is up and the auction on that will be ending tomorrow around 10 p.m central time and that will be, of course, on August 3rd. So definitely be sure to check out that part of the collection as well down below. And obviously, because we are doing a guide, the NFT that will be up is the NFT that we are going to be showing you guys within the guide right now. Welcome back. That was a fun sponsorship sp on the spot. It was just integrated into the video, and that's the way it goes. It was relevant. That's what I would say. Let's hop into it though. First things first, you're going to want to navigate to OpenSea.io. It's going to be very important that you do not end up getting fished here. So for example, if you Google OpenSea, make sure that you get the correct link. If you DuckDuckGo OpenSea, make sure you get the direct correct link. I will leave the correct link in the description below. That being said, sometimes things can change and it can get sketchy. And in the case that you connect a wallet to a malicious version of OpenSea.io, well, you could lose the funds in that wallet. So I just want to make that very clear. Let's go over wallet selections for OpenSea. This is going to be important. Today, we're going to be doing an example with MetaMask. That being said, the Coinbase wallet works. Bitski works, Wallet Connect, Fortmatic, Arcane Network, Dapper, Ethereum, Taurus, Portis.io, and KaiCast. Something along those I, along those lines. I probably pronounced the last one incorrectly. For setting up these wallets, check out the video on how to mine Ethereum on my main page. In the beginning of that, we show you guys how to set up MetaMask. Important notes when setting up MetaMask is going to be making sure that you generate a brand new key and you aren't getting a rotten seed. Once again, do not Google MetaMask, do not DuckDuckGo MetaMask, navigate directly to MetaMask.io very intentionally to make sure that you don't end up with a rotten seed or anything nefarious like that. So we're going to go ahead and proceed with the process of minting, of course, our, an NFT or your first NFT. And the process will basically have you sign in to your MetaMask wallet. So we're just going to go ahead and click sign in. It'll ask for your password. So at that point, you're just going to want to go ahead and enter your password and then click unlock. And at that point, it should log you in. Now, in, the, in your case, there will probably be some setup that you need to do. You can go ahead and edit your photo. You can check your address. You can edit the name of your collection, all that sort of thing. So at this point, you're going to want to go up to your profile and you're going to want to select my collections. 
And then under my collections, you will not have a collection. So you'll need to cre create a collection. At this point, you will select your logo image, making sure it's 350 by 350, a featured image, a banner image, and then you can name it and then have a custom URL, etc. It'll then give you all the options for, of course, the payment tokens. Today, we're going to be using Ethereum. However, you know, there are other options here that you can add. And so you can keep that in mind, depending on what network you're in, that sort of thing. There is Polygon available here, so you can ob obviously set up the Polygon network for this as well. But like I said, today we will be covering Ethereum. Polygon would be cheaper though, so that is an option that you want to consider. So once you have your collection created, you can click in and then at that point at the top right hand corner here, which we'll just go ahead and pull this in here just a tad, there is add item. So we're going to go ahead and click add item. And then at this point, you are going to sign essentially a, a smart contract. So we're going to go ahead and sign it. And then we are going to upload our NFT. So at this point, you can drag and drop or you can just click it to upload it. We're going to click it. And in here, what I've done is created an NFT called today's sponsor is today's myself. Sponsor is myself. So Today's sponsor is myself. Now there is a preview image that you can set up as well. And in this one, you're basically going to go one to one. It's not going to be like a 16 by nine or anything like that. So for this, we are going to go ahead and just do a quick snipping of our video here. So I'm going to go ahead and play with VLC today. And then I'm going to go to this point wherever I look the most ridiculous. I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job at looking ridiculous the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and just do video and take snapshot here. And then I'm going to open Inkscape. And this is just part of the process of creating a preview image. You can do it however you like, of course. I'm sure that if you're looking into this, that you are uh, very familiar with the process of, you know, creating different types. So I'm just going to do a control shift D and then I am going to go ahead and hit pixels and make it 1080 by 10, 1080 just for ease of use. And then I'm going to zoom out and then I may go drop my picture in here, click OK. And then because it's 1080 by 1080, I just want to make sure my hand is in there. And then I'm just going to do a file and export the image and just say page and then export as and just probably export to the desktop here replace and then at that point we should have our preview image ta-da and we're just going to name this today's sponsor is myself and we'll have the external link that will let it generate and then we can change if we like. You can basically set up uh, to include a link uh, to this URL on an item's detail page so that users can click and learn more about it. Uh, we'll go over that in more detail later. Right now we're just kind of trying to get up and going. So we're going to say basically SOT sponsor spot NFT. And then you can put in whatever description you like, and then you can add it to whatever collections you have by clicking the down arrow here. And then you can change various things. So you can add in uh, basically different properties underneath it. And you can add in levels, which I'm not too clear on what the levels do. I do need to do some more research into that. But basically, we're just covering a basic creation of an NFT at this point. Uh, but you can basically have additional properties here for it to add under. At this point, it's just going to be whatever is default at this point. So we can do unlockable content, which includes unlockable content that can only be revealed by the owner of the item. 
which is pretty cool. And you can enter basically codes or whatever it is, links to files, that sort of thing. And basically whoever owns it can get whatever special content that you've blocked behind it to where only the owner has access to. And then you need to basically note if it's expli explicit or sensitive content for CU Dex Tuesday. We obviously did the explicit and sensitive content, but this particular NFT doesn't have anything explicit in it or sensitive, so we don't need to worry about it. Maybe if we were doing my new idea, Crypto Dicks, that would be explicit content, but we haven't started that collection yet. I look forward to it though. All right, so now we have our supply of one. Now at this point on OpenSea.io, the number of copies that can be minted is a max of one. Uh, quantities above one though are coming soon according to the site here. And that means that there are other NFT generation options, websites, platforms that we'll discuss later that basically already have this implemented to where you can have more than one copy. And once we get to that, we will cover it. So finally, we have freezing metadata. And basically once locked, your content cannot be edited or removed as it is permanently stored in decentralized file storage, which will be accessible from other clients to view and use. So one of the questions I've always had about these is basically what they mean by decentralized storage. And I know that OpenSea claims that they have that, but my understanding is there's not really a possibility to fully uh, have decentralized storage. And I'm gonna be digging into this for a completely separate video just something i wanted to note that's kind of the area where storage becomes an issue with this particular i guess portion of cryptocurrency one of the things i'm a little bit more worried about in regard to N uh, nfts especially how ipfs is utilized and implemented can also have some bearing on how valid the nft will be in the future or bulletproof it would be as well as where it's stored and how it's stored so at this point we're going to go ahead and click create and then it will have it created we're going to click visit and then at this point we're going to go ahead and sell it so we have created the nft and at this point, if we want to go ahead and it's been minted, right? But at this point, if we want to go further, we are going to need to basically sell it. And we'll leave a link to this down in the description below. You can click this sell button up here and you can do highest bidder. So you can either set a solid amount, whatever that may be in Ethereum, DAI, Matic or USDC currently on OpenSea. And then you can set the amount of ETH, whether that be one or whatever it is, right? The interesting thing here is that you can also set up a bid, which is what we've been doing. So you guys can bid however much you want for the first sale. And it can be a little confusing. So our minimum bid, right, is just gonna be like 0 0.005 or 0.005, right? So $1.32, let's say. But the reserve price is essentially going to be a hidden limit setting for for it but it has to be one now here's where i got a little confused and i think that we can clear it up pretty easily for you guys just because the reserve price is one doesn't mean that you can't accept a different price at the end of the auction so if somebody was to offer 0 0.001 and that would be like you know something like ten dollars or somewhere around there then at that point we could just say okay i want to take that ten dollars however you do need to keep in mind that that does mean if you accept it you also accept the fees to my knowledge so you will need essentially the bid to be over the amount of fees if it doesn't hit the reserve price and that's kind of where it's at right now and that can be pretty confusing so this whole nft game if you're going to get into it and be really serious about it you need to make sure you're playing the numbers in your favor and you don't accept a bid that's only going to cover the network fees at the time and that can be pretty daunting we're going to go ahead and do one week for this this is where you can set your expiration date date and then we're going to go ahead and click post our listing 
At this point, you will be asked to basically do a signature request for it. So you'll need to sign. And then at that point, you can see that it is listed for sale. And so from here, we can lower price or cancel the listing. And then other people, when they come in, so if we hit this share button, we can share it out. Other people can come in and click place bid. Now to show you guys what that looks like, let's go back to my collections here for you guys. And we're just gonna take a look at the See You Next Tuesday. As you can see here, we have some bids already going on and the highest one is 92.95 and we can go ahead and click the accept. Now you will also see here that the sale ends tomorrow and that will be in one day in five minutes at 9.51 CDT. And at that point, if for example, the reserve price of one ETH was met, then what would happen is it would automatically sell to that user. If that is not met, then what you have to do is come down and click accept. Once again, you also wanna just keep in mind that there will be fees associated with it. And how it was explained to me is that the seller, if accepted below one ETH, will be paying the fees in that case. So it will come out of that transaction. So you really want to test it out and see kind of where it's at at that time for basically however, uh, however much the bid is versus however much the fees would be and go through that. Now that portion in particular, I am not fully aware of because we have not done it yet. We will be doing it tomorrow though. And my plan at this point is to do it live uh, on basically stream. We will be streaming the last little bit right at about 10 o'clock tomorrow night, central time, nine o'clock tomorrow night, central time. We'll go through the bids. We'll do some really fun stuff, hopefully live on the channel. And then you guys will get to learn along with me how the process works. And hopefully we'll talk to the winner of the bids on basically this item. And then I'm thinking about doing it again for of course the one that we just minted today. So there you go. There's how you can basically mint and sell your own NFT. As you can see, it's actually quite simple. It's not, you know, a huge process as far as like, these tools are here and it makes it easy. I know a lot of people have talked about doing NFTs on Ravencoin and they do support it and that's awesome. However, you need to keep in mind that the only platform for Ravencoin right now requires that you submit the NFT for approval and then they can approve it and blah, blah, blah. That's not quite as open as I would prefer and Ethereum right now offers that. We should also talk about, you know, going between the Matic network on OpenSea as well as the Ethereum network. Obviously, if you are somebody that is selling an NFT, it's going to be easier to sell it to people on Ethereum mainnet, primarily just because of the familiarity. However, once people come become more familiar with Polygon and the lower fees, it's better for everybody to eventually be selling on the Polygon net. And I think that that is something to bring up at this point. Both of these NFTs are on the main net and it is not near as confusing for both the seller and the buyer at that point, because you know, you would need to go through the Polygon setup to basically access the Polygon main net within your MetaMask before you could actually go ahead and find whatever you know nft you've sold or the the income from that nft within polygon we did discuss already how to connect metamask to the polygon network so please check out my video in regards to how to get polygon payouts from ethermine that video is up on this channel and should be very helpful for some of y'all I hope this video was helpful for you. If you're new to the channel, we primarily cover mining cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency news topics, but I like to do how to's for decentralized finance, decentralized exchanges, and of course now non-fungible tokens. So we try to hit everything that we can. And as I learn, I try to teach you. And if I mess up, I try to learn from you. And that's how this channel goes. And that's how we build a community where everybody can hopefully find some success. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next Tuesday.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to see more. Also, you can check out this playlist for more content talking about cryptocurrency.